So I would like to uh, start with the comparison of AI and computers. I feel the AI is uh, just like the computers in 90s, like when computers were introduced, uh, those who have accepted and adapted it uh, were able to grow fast and same goes for the AI. So now uh, there are pros and cons of AI. Pros, as we have seen, our panelists have already shared, uh, like it can do a lot of things, automation of repetitive tasks, enhanced accuracy, advanced data analytics, faster decision making. And this goes on and on. Like there is endless, uh, endless opportunities uh, uh, while using AI. But uh, I would like to focus on cons also. There are a lot many cons of using AI. And uh, as the, there is a time limitation, I would like to focus on the uh, one con, which is prompt. Prompting is very important uh, in AI. Like uh, it is not necessary that you will always get the exact same result. Uh, if there is a uh, some, uh, slight difference in prompt also, the result will vary. So I'd like to focus on that con. Um, why prompt sensitivity matters because uh, certain times what is uh, what is happening is you will get output differently and that will lead to inconsistent results and there is also a challenge of language, uh, language proficiency if you are not good in writing and if you are not uh, able to prompt it correctly so the re re output which you will get is will not be proper so how uh, how can that be overcome? So there is a uh, feature in chat GPT, uh, like in the paid version, uh, you can always, uh, yeah, you can go under the explore uh, GPT uh, section and always create your own GPT. So this is what basically this is, is uh, like I have written a prompt also that create an income tax calculator, give data prescribe table and in the format comparison of old and new. So what is this uh, doing is basically creating a GPT, uh, which will be just calculating the income tax when income is added in it. And this will take a lot of time. So I have one sample ready. I created one GPT. Yeah, the GPT was financial wizard. When the sample data, which you upload, like uh, there is a domestic sales and all the things uh, of a company of year one, year two and year three, and you want a projection for year four and year five. So when I'm prompting in normal in chat GPT that uh, I need a growth of 20% year on year, like uh, projection should be on the basis of 20%. So what data it will show is that all the things with sales, it will all increase all the things by 20%. It will increase purchase by 20%. It will increase everything by 20%. So this was the prompting issue. Because I just prompted that increase all the figures by 20%. So increase sales by 20%. So there was a prompt issue in that. So for that data, I have written the prompt. Prompt grow sales by 20% and all the figures accordingly. Now, another time when I have created my own GPT, when I prompt achieve a 20% increase in sales and corresponding figures that have proven co correlation with sales growth, means it will give me data like this, that sales will grow by 20%, but all the other figures will be in correlation with sales of historical and then grow accordingly. So this was the chain. Now, you can't expect uh, like every person uh, in your office to give same kind of prompt uh, like you do. So uh, what you can do is you can create your own GPT for various purposes. Like uh, see, this GPT has given me, do you want to call this GPT as a text guide? If I say yes, it will name it will be named as a text guide. And then uh, the GPT will be created and the results are I have shown you the results. Now, what are the benefits of creating our own GPT? Like, uh, it gets uh, relevant because it's a tailored to accounting domain. So, uh, uh, it will always give you the result if, uh, which are there in uh, the knowledge base. Just like, uh, I'll show you one, my GPT. When creating this financial wizard, I have given the uh, data that you should consider year four and year five based on historical data from year one and year three. So these are common instructions available in the GPT itself. 
so and also you can uh, add things in the knowledge also like you can upload files if i if i'm uh, calculating for income tax i can upload a bear act or something like that so uh, it will always refer that knowledge from it in fact uh, the gpt is not updated timely so uh, if there is a change in law i can change it, the knowledge uh, base here and then uh, it can provide me the exact um, uh, the result which are uh, according uh, which are uh, the new results like not the old one not the not updated one so with creating gpts we can solve many problems uh, like data cleaning and processing predictive analysis audit analytics financial reporting all this is possible with your prescribed output. You can decide your output, you can structureize your output, how the output you want. And every time when you create a GPT, every time when you enter a file and ask the GPT to do any analysis on that, you will always get the exact same output as prescribed and as described by you. So uh, this was uh, um, my time like uh, this is what i wanted to share everything else is covered by all the panelists and with creating your own gpt i feel uh, there are endless possibilities and uh, a lot much can be done